<laughs> oh, another one. Oh, there's a whole bunch of those trees. They must be in some sort of Japanese district. That might be. There's in keeping with a lot of like like old eighties cyberpunk stuff. There's like there's like a lot of like Japanese stuff, mm. which is um. Like, like, what goes back at least as far as, like, uh, like I said, William Gibson's Neuromancer, where there's, like, these Japanese megacorporations. And, like, element... Well, keep... Well, keep in mind, Cyberpunk is... I mean, it has, you know, predecessor... You know, predecessors in terms of... Style, but cyber, Cyberpunk is, like, you know, a product of the 80s. Right. And back in the 80s... And you're too, you're too young to remember this on account of not existing at the time. But... Back in the 80s... Like, late, late, back in the 80s, early 90s... Everyone was just utterly convinced that the Japanese were going to eat us alive. Uh, no, I'm serious. Like, no, I mean, Japan's economy was booming at the time, and you know there was lots of uh, like, I, like when you know how Ninten the Nintendo bought or like their owner they bought the Seattle Mariners. Yeah, that was like a big freaking. People were like freaking out about that. The idea of like, like you know, you know, the Japanese, you know, buying up everything and whatever. Japanese people just really like baseball. It is, yeah, it is really big there, isn't it? But yeah, there, there was sort of like a lot of fear in the 80s, like a lot of people thought in the 80s that like Japan was going to become like the new like global economic superpower or something. It's so a lot of people... Though, when you look what's back that? On, you Sorry? See the lost decade. So, so like when people, a lot of people, when they imagine the future, they imagine that like, like Japanese economic dominance. Um, which is why, like, why, which is why some of, several of the big mega corporations in this are Japanese, for instance. Or why, um... Or why, like, why, like every single cyberpunk story has the Yakuza appear at some point, for some reason, pretty much. <laughs> well, it's just interesting to see that juxtaposed to the reality where the Lost Decade came about. Yeah. As you approach the scene of Sam's murder, Jake spies the flashing red and blue lights up ahead. Whoa, hold up a minute. Lone Star isn't above collecting on, on a corp-issued bounty. And the one on my head isn't going away anytime soon, he says. Sorry, friend. I think this is where our paths diverge. Oh, received a thousand million. <laughs> what are your options? What, you want a hug or something? I think, likewise, Jake. Give me a call when you're in the clear. Yeah, sure. He starts to leave, then tilts his head back. Hey, one more thing. When you're done checking out your pal's crime scene, pop in the Seamstress's Union. It's just down the street. You need gear, information, or just a damn stiff drink, that's the place to be. Best dive this side of Chicago. I used that place as a base of operations for years, back in the day. Make the right friends, and I'm sure you'll get to the bottom of this ripper business. This side of Chicago is one half of the continental U.S. Well, actually, remember I was going to tell you about what the UCAS was, right? Yes. Little, little future history lesson for you. As I, the United States does not exist right. in 2054. It's split into several states. Uh, Seattle is part of Seattle is part of a, a country called the United UCA as the United Canadian and American States. Okay. Okay. Which encompasses basically like the eastern co like the eastern United eastern coast, out to the Midwest, out into like the Midwest, like above the Mason Dixon line. Right. And then, and then through a uh, a lot of the western United States is uh, controlled by uh, this alliance called the, the Native American nations, which are. Right. Ba 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 um, ba basically, like Native Americans, sort of became a had had, had kind of an up had kind of an up had kind of had an upswing, sort of. I see. And they so like there's like they control a good deal of territory in what used to be the Western United States. So, uh, the southern southeastern United States is the Confederation of American States, which is the South has risen again. Kinda, although I, although I believe it's mentioned that like calling them. Even though they, they use the term confederation, but calling them a confederate is actually considered like a, like a mild slur, I believe. Um, California has become the California Free State. Uh, Oregon, like parts of Oregon, is actually uh, what's it called? Tier something? Tier uh, Tier Tangier, which is actually like a, a Elven enclave, right? Um, and there's a few other bits and pieces, but basically Seattle. Seattle, despite being geographically cut off from the rest of it, um, Seattle and its environs is part of the UCAS. So, um, yeah. So, 
so sort of the significance of Chicago kind of is that so this side of Chicago he probably means like you know anywhere in you know the in the Seattle enclave um Chicago's a lo- Chicago's kind of a lot lo- lo- farther away than it used to be in a sense I wonder and, how the Midwest has fared. That's the Bible Belt area. And I... Well, you got to go a bit further south for the Bible Belt. Oh, that's true. Well, Still, I should have to think how they function in this society. Well, the U- the UCIS extends like, like half, like like halfway, like into like say you know what used to be Nebraska or whatever. Mm. On the other side of that, like I said, are the uh, uh, native. Native American nations, which were able to uh, able to secede from the United States <coughs> um, in 2010s, 2020s, t- after the you know awakening when uh, magic you know was coming back into the world, a one of the leaders of a uh, basically Native secessionist movement found found a way to enact a uh, magical ritual that caused. A number of uh, <laughs> a number of volcanoes in the western United States to erupt catastrophically, okay. and, and and that was kind of a you know a holy shit moment, right? So the United States and ended up which still existed at that point ended up uh, ceding you know ended up ceding a good deal of territory, I see. but but they kept like I said they kept they did keep Seattle as an enclave and as you know access to the Pacific Ocean. Um, I told I've told you Shadowrun is kind of a weird universe. Yeah, you did. Um. Okay. <clears throat> well, now back to our story. And Jake is off. We will see him again. Don't know where. Don't know when. Well, actually, I don't. well you do. Let's see. Okay. Oh, see, well, check it out. Chalk outline. <laughs> so uh, I'm guessing in the future, murder and all that is kind of flexible. Well, it depends where you are in in the uh, in the bar- like you know here in the Barrens. Mm. Not much law here in the Barrens. It's not a. Like I said, they mentioned Lone Star doesn't really come here that much. Interesting. The bright yellow police tape cuts through the darkness, directing your eyes to the white chalk outline and dark red stain marking the slab of pavement where Sam Watts died. Standing at the entrance to the alley, a- alley is a Lone Star officer. The cop looks cold, hungry, and irritated to the homeless man who's currently pestering him. William, I keep telling you, I need to get my stuff from the alley or I'm going to die in the cold tonight. The officer sighs. I've been trying to explain to you this is an official Lone Star investigation and I can't let anyone in here. Hey, I got rights. Look, you sinless garbage. I've got a job to do. Remember what I said? People without a system identification number lob are like, you know, second-class right. citizens. Right. I've got a job to do. Find a new blanket or I'll find a reason to use my stun baton. Typical. I hate all you pigs. Oh, he's really old. He's like, I hate all you pigs. Actually, that reminds me of something I need to do. Something, oh. o- Officer Kuprick looks in your direction. Now what? Coroner Dresden sent me over. Lie. I'm here to check the site for spectral DNA. Item. Long night. If I if I'd bought a donut from this guy and coffee from this guy earlier, I could have like distracted him with it. Long night, eh? Or if you have etiquette security, you can like tr- you can like basically talk him into leaving. Or you can just <laughs> bribe 100 million. Meet my friend, Mr. Credstick. We just need a few minutes to look around. Actually, I'm just gonna say nothing passing by. I'm gonna come back to him later. Cause like I said, there's a there's a cheaper solution to this. Whoa, Dan the Donut Man. <laughs> Perhaps he can help us out. The smell of fried food, powdered sugar, and slightly burned soy calf is almost enough to render overpower the dusty stew, dust, dusty sewage stench of Redmond streets. Oh, this is Redmond specific. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that where Nintendo headquarters is? Uh, I think it might be. Uh oh. The troll work working the stand is covered in food stains older than he is. Dan the Donut Man. Do you see the murder in the alley across the way? Nope. I was close. 
I was closed when it happened. But hey, it's the Barons, so back alley killing's nothing new around here. The only reason you cops are making a big deal about this Ripper business is that some of the victims are real people. You know, folks with SINs. Can you tell me about the Barons? The Barons? <coughs> Hell, if, the a if you have to ask, you probably shouldn't be out here. This stretch we're on is called Touristville, though. I suppose it's the closest thing around here to respectable. Fewer muggings, and you might even... So, Nick, this is the nice part of the Barons. Yes. Keep that in mind. <laughs> and you might even survive drinking the water if you're lucky. Wouldn't recommend it, though. He scratches his armpit. Now, behind me, that's the Seamstresses Union. You want drinks, drugs, favors, or information around here? Union's your spot. Hell, that place is the reason I'm in business. Folks get the munchies when they party. Mrs. Kabuto, own Kabuto owns the joint, and she's quality. Hard woman, but fair. Ten new yen. I'll take a jelly donut and a soy cat. Enjoy. Now, uh, my, my, my cunning str stratagem is half complete. Here's the seamstress's union. Let's see what it is. The sounds of laughter and music emanate from within, but you should finish your investigation first. Let's see what this guy is. Bobby! Hey, chummer! Got some tasty morsels for you. Just what every well dressed shadow runner should have in his back pocket. Let's see what you have. Oh, he's a drug dealer! <laughs> Kamikaze, 50 new yen. Combat stim that increases body plus two, strength plus two, and willpower plus four. I mean, strength plus one, and willpower plus one for five rounds. And Nitro. Strength and willpower plus two, and charisma and intelligence minus two for five rounds. Hmm. So, yeah. Some, I, in the Shadowrun universe, sometimes winners do use drugs. You know, that, I find that weird. Kamikaze doesn't actually have anything to do with... Being a, like a berserker. Well, no, yeah, no, it's, it's divine. It's wind, yeah, divine wind. Right. But I mean, no one, no, I mean, no one in America thinks of it as in that sense, really. That's true. The dwarf merchant is packing up her stand for the night. I'm closed. Come back tomorrow. I've got a great view of the alley across the street. Don't suppose you saw the murder that happened there? She grunts. Sure. I was closing up when I heard a series of explosions from behind the Union. A couple seconds later, this guy comes out, runs across the street. Didn't get a good look at him. Then all the lights in the alley exploded all of a sudden. Things got pretty quiet after that. And let me guess, you didn't go running over to see if that guy was okay. Hell no! Around here that kind of thing gets you killed. You're not much help. That's not my problem. Yeah, lots of little like, lots of dudes, like, you can see all the different, like, things on the... There to be some watermelons on that stand. Oh, it's like a... It's like a cart with a half of a bicycle as the front of it. Oh, like a rickshaw. Kinda. Although not, you don't move it on foot. It's like a pedal-powered rickshaw, kinda, though, yeah. There appears to be some sort of totem pole on the street there. Actually, there's quite a few of these things. They seem to be like, they're like a cart in front, and then they have like sort of like a bicycle thingy in, in front. Seems to be a cop popular mode of conveyance. Alright, now back to the crime scene. Let's see what this guy has to say. William. The streets have not been kind to this man, but they've also hardened him. The man is clearly a survivor, the one wrestling with the onset of age and arthritis. You, I saw you over there with that rat bastard cop. What do you want? I could offer him the donut. I'm homeless, not helpless. Thanks, but thank you, but no thanks. I remember the old days, the taste of real coffee, and let you tell you, that Drek, it's not real coffee. <laughs> I'd be interested to try so I can. <laughs> we've secretly, <coughs> we've secretly replaced this futuristic homeless man's coffee with Folgers crystals. Let's see if he notices. <laughs> Know anything about that murder? Know anything about that murder that took place here? He squints at you, suspicious. You a copper? Or working for some corp? Nah, you a copper? She? Nah. Just a freelancer. I need to ask you some questions. Good. Never tell those cops and salary men nothing. What do you want to know? Did you see the murder? Nope. I can't say I'm sorry. I missed it. I was hauling crates for Mrs. James up up at the market. Can't carry as many as I used to, so it took a while. Got back here in time to see a couple of tourists puking all over my home turf. It's my puking area. 
He doesn't say that. But then that jerk face in the uniform had already set up shop in my alley. What else did you see that night? Hmm. Well, you know, early in the night I saw a big and ugly troll in green hospital scrubs snooping around the block. Hospital scrubs. That may become relevant. He bought some donuts and two cups of soy calf from Dan off of Dan over there. He seemed nervous. And he did everything with his left hand because his right was all screwed up with some cyberware. Can you tell me more about the troll's cyberware? Well, it was big. I think it must have had some hospital attachments because I saw some needles. Hospital attachments. It was a lot like one I saw back in 44 when I got captured by elves. They did all sorts of experiments on me, let me tell you. Never trusted one of them cyber people. See, now, see, in our world, if an old homeless guy tells you about the time he was abducted by elves, you'd think he was crazy, but... So, it sounds like you live in this alley? Sure. For the last couple of months, I've been sleeping there. But I spend my days out doing odd jobs for the street merchants, or panhandling tourists over near the Seamstress's Union. That's all I needed to know. Thanks. See you around.